meant to be a New Zealander? Kate and the girls sought to find out, investigating everyday Kiwis and then retelling their stories in the entertaining and thought-provoking show Weave Yarns with New Zealanders. Welcome to the cafe, Kate McGill. Thank you. Really nice to have you here. So you show Weaves, real Kiwi stories it's based on. Yeah, that's right. How many so, people? Uh, well, I interviewed around 30, but there are 20 in this version of the show. Okay, yeah. I want, I'm trying to get my head around it, so can you give me a, a, a sample? What a do you sample? Mean? Yeah, a sample of the, some of the yarns that you come across. Oh, okay, so I interviewed, you know, how many people and lots and lots of different topics because we just we just sat down and had a chat really cool but like for instance there's a woman from the Manawatu who's um amazing and goes i went to america to the arkansas children hospital no less first new zealander to go to arkansas and i went there not being able to drive which was dumb <laughs> really dumb <laughs> oh, i love it oh i love she's it one of my she's an amazing amazing woman so how did you choose these people um Oh, in some ways they kind of chose me. I sort of put, it was, I mean, it was a really great thing for me because I got to sit down with a whole bunch of these amazing different people. But I sort of, I put the word out to different people in different jobs because I felt like that would get a really wide range of people. Um, so people in the medical profession, politicians, um, uh, sex workers, all sorts of people. So because people that I'm curious about and yeah. wanted to find out more about. And I think New Zealanders like to see themselves reflected back. So trying to get as many different people from the community as possible. And was there any sort of underlying similarities that you noticed through that process? You know, everyone was so different. I mean, some themes definitely came up. And, um, you know, one kind of main theme of the show is the New Zealand character and how we are and how we are with each other. But also, I think I was quite naive going into it because asking people, what is our identity? I didn't think racism would come up. Right. I don't know. I know. I know that it exists. I'm not a complete yeah. fool, but I. Um, it ended up being quite a, a strong thread through the show, and also language. What language means to us as New Zealanders? Immigration. Really what that is means. Quite to fascinating. Us. Yeah. And, and when you're retelling these stories, when you're weaving, I guess, the character of New Zealand through these yarns. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Do you take on the, the character of the person like you did? The, 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 <laughs> the, do you have to do all these different characters? Is that how you tell it? Yes. It's, oh, that it's, must it be would exhausting. Be a bit boring. It was just Kate sitting up there doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I so, sometimes go, maybe I should have picked 10 people. Or, but no, it's, I mean, I want to give their most authentic self as much as I can but it is theatre so you do kind of dilate and magnify to a certain extent. Have they seen it? So the people on the show do they know it's them and have they come to see it? <laughs> well no I mean the show opens on the 4th. Oh April. right so of course they haven't it's fresh so, stuff then. But we we did the test season in Wellington a few years ago and that woman that you just met her son came along and I didn't know he was coming and it's a heightened version of his mum definitely mm. but mm. she is she is very cute and she's delicious and gorgeous. But he said, you know, that was really weird seeing mum and hearing her story because she did reveal some things to me that he didn't even know about. So. Oh, I want some wow. more like you did before. Can you, can you give us any more? I know I haven't paid to come and see the show yet. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you do any more? Can you do another one? Um, I don't think I was a very good teacher to begin with. Uh, most of the problem with teaching is that people try and get there too fast. But you must have the desire to do it. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness! Oh, you are magnificent at this. Oh my no! You're selling the show really well, by the oh, way. Oh good! Look, I hope I hope people will come along. So this is called <laughs> verbatim theatre, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. So what exactly? What does that mean? Yeah, verbatim theatre is a term that's kind of tossed around a bit, but verbatim means word for word. Mm. So essentially, it's like you know, like in law transcripts, they they give you a verbatim account of yes. what happens in a courtroom. So I go in, I interview people, I record them through video and um, sound recording, and then I transcribe the whole thing with the ums and the ahs, the breaths, the weird noises that people make, and everyone makes weird noises. And says, <laughs> um, noise. So when I send the transcript back to the people for them to approve, because they have to approve it, they go, oh, I've, you know, like there's this thing of thinking that we sound dumb because we go, um, uh, I'm not sure, uh, or jump to another thought. <laughs> Yeah. So verbatim theatre means word for word, okay. essentially. No, and what I love about this is not only do we get to see your talent, I guess, when you reenact those verbatim passages, but we also get to learn a lot about ourselves, I guess. Has that been one of the most rewarding things about doing this? Learning a lot about New Zealand's culture, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, 
it, I mean, it's been really educational for me, as I said. Like, I felt, I feel like I was quite naive in some ways going into it, and finding out things about, like, I met um, this guy who was born in the Philippines. He's been here for about 12, 13 years. He's 24, 25, and him saying that to him, New Zealand is a first world country. To him, for him coming here, mm. is, it's like paradise, and he was liberated in coming here. Like, how, how amazing mm. that is. And you don't, I don't go around being like, oh, wow, I live in New Zealand. It's great well, you, all the time. You quite often don't appreciate it until you leave the country, do you? Yeah. Now, you've um, been doing really very well for yourself lately as well. You've been in the Broken Wood Mysteries, which yes. Mike and I both love. Love it, yeah. I love it too. What's next for you? Um, well, we've, yeah, with New Zealand. Apart from this. Um, I'm actually really wanting to develop my director's kind of hat, so I'm, I'm working on some short films at the moment. Thanks so much for coming in, Kate. Awesome. Yeah, Good luck. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much.